I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Your heart might be in the right place, but you can't carry on with this blackmail. For God's sake, Dorothy, it's extortion. It's a serious crime. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. Well, the blackmail has to stop. You convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime and it will stop, Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. So? Here is my proposition. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital and provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Dr. Reed, that sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice, then. No, just a privileged <coughs> My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. I'll pay good <coughs> in exchange, fair and honest, to help finance your noble endeavors. We have ourselves a deal, Doctor. Good customers are always welcome. Yes, Nurse Crane. We have a deal. Give me your blood. Oh crap, I shot you more than twice. Hold on, suck your blood. Where do we go? Back to the hospital. Get out of here. Be here, where we go. <coughs> Sorry. I'm like coughing like the hell. Go down here and no, we go. I'm like gassy or something. If science fails you, then you run to tanks. Run into tanks. At least we got bullets. Motherfucker got bullets. So oh, serious. There ain't no damn sneaking in here. Oh well. 
Run! Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Kill it, boy! <laughs> Give me your blood! Oh shit! Oh crap. Grab me, bro. I didn't leave anything. I didn't leave anything, bro. Trap me, I am the best. I am the greatest. I am a legend. Legion of my ass. I need some ammo. Yes. Be back here. Oh, loading. And back to normal running. Back upstairs. No way. Nope, not way. I'm back to my spot. Let me go and over. I'm gonna change my coat. Report to Lady Ashbury. Screw it, Lady Ashbury. Where's my ammo refill? I like spend the shit out of it. I get upgraded. Oh, I'm missing one. Let's play. So, let's go. Back to uh, Lady Ash. Ash. Ash Booty. Oh, crap. Damn it. Give me a second, people. I got this little walking pad that goes to my controller. And it's just. Is it upstairs or downstairs? Upstairs, downstairs, <laughs> Jesus. 
Jesus Christ, lady. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. I must confess I have not put an end to the blackmail, my lady. Unfortunately, I could not bring myself to do it. I'm so disappointed in you, Jonathan. I didn't expect this from you. Lady Ashbury, you yourself admitted how ridiculous the sum of money was. I can assure you it was all used for charitable ends. Well, you are full of surprises, aren't you, Jonathan? All right? Say I trust you. But you will still pay the ransom. That is only fair. After all, it was you who failed to bring this problem to a satisfactory conclusion. I believe I could agree to that. And since a lady always keeps her promises, I will now answer any questions you may have. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell me all this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy, knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only the foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution, and I'm no fool. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No, you are now an echo, and that you shall remain. Are you an echo too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Hmm. What you think you know about us. So we are Echons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Echon are vampires. But all vampires are not Echon. 
We are a... but a branch of the immortal tree. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand... Yeah, we drink coffee like they do in fucking... What's that shit? What's that thing again? Uh, Tokyo Ghoul. Oh wait, except they eat people. They don't drink blood, you know. What do you know about this brotherhood of St. Paul's stole? The brotherhood is well known amongst London vampire society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders? As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. You just... I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. Well, thank you. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. <laughs> he left this isle a long time ago. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scam. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Skulls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type of vampire is a skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. Are there many vampires here in London? Too much. Animals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Will you all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not, but remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters, prepared and well-trained. Though I can't be certain, more than likely it was the once glorious guard of Prewen. Once glorious, but still... There's a lot of time, bro. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. You make me sound yeah, like, like Abraham Lincoln in the Vampire Hunter. <coughs> and like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seems they have been recruiting. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. 
Perhaps not. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen anything like this. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. I bid you farewell for now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Time to go back to my room. the rasmin blood was the best best blood Anyway, I will say goodbye for now. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the scouts. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. Well, we'll talk to him tomorrow. So, I'll see you guys next time. Chapter 3. We're chapter 3. Family history.